Welcome to Every Way Woman. Here, the color of feminism is the topic today. It's obviously evolved throughout the years, but it's also different in different cultures, communities. Stacey, what does it mean to you? For me, being an African-American woman, um, it means that I am twofold. I'm supposed to be strong. A lot of, in our, in our culture, a lot of men are absent. But then also, I want that chivalry. So I want to be independent, but I want that man to be, to take care of me, to coddle me. And sometimes that conflicts because it doesn't, it doesn't represent what a feminist is supposed to be. Well, I, I do think there's a common thread mm -hmm. in that we want to be treated like women. You know, how I grew up kind of in the waspy community, if you will, very conservative, West Michigan. That's how it was for me. But I think that it is different. But in my culture, I don't have, I don't have a choice. Community. A lot of times I have to be the person because there's no other person around. Or in some cultures, maybe in Michigan, you don't necessarily have to, you can choose to. Oftentimes, as a black woman, I gotta take that role on. Well, I know growing up, um, I grew up without a father for a couple of years throughout my early childhood. So my mom taught me basically you need to be independent, you need to be financially stabilized, you need to be able to cook, clean, and go to work and take care of your kids. And to you me You need to do it all. Right. That's that's the idea of feminism to me, is just being an all round, all round wounded Woman. But how is that supported by the Latino man? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> 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 Latino. Well, Latino men. Mm -hmm. um, I believe a lot of them. Not all. Not everybody. Right. So if you're watching right now, relax. <laughs> 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 but um, they can be. They can be real controlling. It can be very controlling because I think being a Latino, it's like what they say has to go. You know, and mm -hmm. even is that even how you were raised. No, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> this is like therapy for me. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm like thinking, no. Uh, no, actually, I wasn't. Um, he, my dad was controlling in, in a sense. Um, actually, I lie. He was very controlling, yeah. But um, going back to like uh, maybe perhaps dating, it happens to me a lot. It's, it's like they want to take control. They expect you uh, when they want to, you know, settle down. They talk about the whole getting married and you have to uh, be at home, being a wife, being this and that. And it's like, whoa, I'm independent. Like if I do get married, I still want to work. So it, let me ask you I don't this. think I want to have children. You and know what I mean? Yeah. To your point, because you are a strong, independent woman, would you consider dating outside your race, or would you find that to be maybe a slap against your culture? Not at all. Not okay. at all. I would not mind dating outside my race. How are these reason. men controlling? Uh, <laughs> going back to my dad, this is so <laughs> bad. Um, he wouldn't even let us look. When we, if we were eating dinner with our whole family, me, my sister, my mom, we couldn't even look at the next table. Oh wow. God. And this is bad. This is something that I probably, if he's watching, sorry. But yeah. We couldn't even look at the next table, and if we did, we would get punished. But see, yeah. just like you, and I grew up in a Latina community too, so it's like all my friends and my sister's friends and my mom's friends and even within my family, the Hispanic men are very controlling. They can be aggressive. Mm -hmm. They just want it their way or no way. And I hate to, you know, be stereotypical here because there are great Hispanic right. men out there. There are a lot mm -hmm. of good dads and boyfriends and husbands out there that are Latino, but it's like that's the real stereotypical view is because there's more of them out there like that. But is it true that Latino women are expected to mother a lot of children? Is that a pressure for you? And that's a yeah. stereotype. Right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Too. I mean, it's a stereotype, but yeah, definitely having a lot of children, being at home, uh, not working. You know, but, you I know, mean, it's not everybody. There's a lot of my Latina friends, you know, that are business owners and stuff. But these are like the, I would say nowadays we're making changes, but mm -hmm. that's usually the stereotype. Yeah. And, and to, so to bring that to the African-American culture, and again, these are stereotypes like Anna, you know, keep the test. It's not everyone. <laughs> but oftentimes the man, um, if he is present, um, sometimes he just, he's not bringing his game. So even though he's present, I still have to do everything. Then he's absent. So either I'm doing everything or I have a man here who's kind of, sort of, kind of doing it, kind of, sort of not, not. So how do I decide? And if I'm too strong, then I talk too much. I don't want a woman who talk too much. You, you do everything. But then if I don't talk or, or, or I'm a little subservient, then I'm going to, you know, you're not good enough. So it's, it's really you know a what? challenge. It's interesting, too, because I think that there is this almost 
fading feminism because the lines are getting very blurred, at least from my generation and speaking in regards to dating and relationships. And I don't think the men know where to fit in anymore. They don't know if they should be chivalrous, if they should pay the tab, if they assume that you will pay half the tab. And I was taught that you should you know, reach in your purse, expect them to, but you should always at least offer to mm -hmm. take <laughs> care of your own. You know, and, and I, you have to pay. Right, just kidding. But these lines are blurred, and I don't think men know how to react because we, as women, are in this women balancing are, act. Women are asking men to, to marry them. So you're right. Things I mean, are changing. Yeah. Roles are changing. Roles are changing. More information. Go to everywaywoman.com. We'll follow up with you on the movement. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.